So you've all heard the basic stereotype that MBBS is so difficult. All the time you just have to study and study. You don't get time to enjoy your personal life. You don't get time to travel. You don't get to enjoy with your friends. Well, through this video, I hope to change all of that. I hope to change the entire perspective of how medical education is pursued in India and what is the reality of it in the ground level. And I wish to show you the exact life that I have been living for the past six months, completing the entire course of 30 MBBS. Because in one or two weeks, I'll become a finally MBBS student. With over 500 video clips in the timeline, let's start to explore how my journey was in 30 MBBS and what is the reality of studying MBBS in India. Let us start from the start. It was the end of exams of second year and we were very very relaxed but our college dropped a bomb on us that you have your first term of exams of third year in exactly two weeks. Around 15 days ago, I ended my second year MBBS examinations as you all know but today I've got my ENT paper for the first term of third year. We didn't even know which subjects we had but we had to face the exams of those subjects in 15 days but thankfully those exams online and the only reason I'm saying thanks is because I didn't have to worry about going to college for the examination and totally not because I had my books with me all the time. After those exams were done which we all passed with flying colors I don't know how that happened it was like a magical moment for all of us but we were all called to our hospital to attend the clinical postings which had been mostly shut down due to COVID. Hi everyone tomorrow is our first day of the orthopedics posting and I'm excited about it. Now clinical postings forms the crux of medicine and I was really really excited to go into one and the first subject that we were allotted was orthopedics and orthopedics is a branch which deals with mostly whatever happens to your musculoskeletal system that is your bones. So my day usually looked like this. I used to wake up at 7.30 and make my way towards the hospital. I used to reach my hospital at 9 and go into the wards, go into the OPD and look at different cases. The very first thing that you learn in any clinical posting is how to take a history of a patient. That means if a patient comes to you, how will you examine the patient to exactly know what is wrong with that patient? What, what sort of questions do you need to ask to get to know what has happened with him? Did he fall with hands like this or did you fall from hands like this? All of these form critical points which will help you narrow down your differential diagnosis very much. We are also taught about clinical examination using which we detect anything abnormal in the human body. So in orthopedics it is important to examine different nerves which are involved during different injuries, the reasons and causes for different swellings over the bodies because a fracture can sometimes present only as a swelling. And using this powerful tool of history taking and clinical examination we are able to narrow down what the actual diagnosis is. The Hospital of Government Medical College Nagpur is totally filled with different types of cases all throughout the year and you will see basically almost almost every single type of patient once you go into the clinical posting every day. We saw a lot of different types of fractures, two of which were my favorite. One was the fracture called as the hangman's fracture, which is one of the fractures of the cervical vertebra. Another not a fracture, but it was CTEV, that is congenital talipus equinovarus. As you can see, getting to a good college really determines what kind of a person you're going to be in the future and what sort of friends group you're going to have. And in India, 1.6 million people sit for the NEET exam out of that 1% get selected. Out of that, only a fraction of people actually get into their dream college. Let me tell you one thing, it is not the end of the world even if you don't make it. There are so many paramedical branches like pharmacy and physiotherapy which are as important as medicine itself. As we clearly understood in the last two years, while fighting COVID, microbiology and biotechnology were the two most important things that we had in our favor. Fun fact, one of our friends from class 12th got into pharmacy at lovely professional university and he's currently in his last year and he really loves it. Speaking more about LPHU, they've got a wide range of courses under their hand which are made by industry leading experts and some of the professors that teach the courses also have got recognition from standard. Stanford University. The campus of LPU is truly beautiful and my friend Mohit described it to me as a city within itself. So imagine you're going into your college and it just feels like it's a small city in which you're living in with all of your friends. LPU shares its campus with students all across India as well as 50 different countries of the world. The acculturation that takes place over there is so good and it is something that you won't get in any other universities of India. But the best part is that around 75% of students pursuing their education for LPU get a scholarship or a financial aid for pursuing education at LPU. Because the scholarship program recognizes a wide range of different things from academic excellence to creative excellence. What I'm trying to say is that in short, even if you don't get into medicine it's not the end of the world. There are so many different courses that you can take and be the best at it. To learn more about LPU check the first link in the description or in the pin comment. During the month of orthopedics posting I also had my friend Ashutosh come over at my place and stay with me and we had a ton of fun. I was also really enjoying my college life because my friends were having their birthdays and that meant a party every single month. I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars I was down Until you saved me I also occasionally took out my juniors to have a party My eyes were closed Now I see clear as day And I just wanted to say That you can take me high But during the end of the posting we had a major issue 
We had gotten into a fight with a few of our batchmates, and it turned ugly very, very soon. But it is one of the memories which I'll cherish very much because I really loved fighting that fight. In the end, we all sorted it out. Don't worry, and nobody was hurt. After the orthopedics posting was done and the fight was over with, we went to our friend's farmhouse and enjoyed an awesome day over there. It's raining. It's beautiful. Look at that beautiful field over there. And come here. I have a question for you. Have you checked to see whether you're subscribed? You might watch my videos every single Sunday and you might not even know that you aren't actually subscribed. And you know, I don't like that. So guess what? Just check. Are you subscribed? And if you aren't, hit that subscribe button right now. Because genuinely, these videos take up a ton of time, effort, energy to make. And subscribing in just two seconds would make up for all of that. And it's the simplest way to show your support to a creator. Especially if you think that the content deserves it. Next posting which was going to come was ophthalmology. And we learned a lot of different things about the eye. Often felt much more like a lecture based posting than a proper clinical posting because they brought in a few patients from the OPD itself into our teaching room and they showed us all the different clinical features in that patient. So we learned a lot of different things starting from the pterygium to cataract, corneal ulcer, iridocyclitis, glaucoma, diabetic retinopathy and so on. They also taught us how to manage that case and what are different types of surgeries they perform. They also showed us different types of clinical instruments which they have such as the direct and the indirect ophthalmoscope, the retinoscope, the B-scan ultrasonography machine and basic things like the Snellens charts, the Jaegers charts. What I find most difficult in ophthalmology is actually the different instruments which they are using to perform surgery and we had a very long class of almost 3 hours just to learn those instruments and I forgot it just one hour after. After the class. During that month, we also started to have our community medicine classes. So we had to go each day to attend a lecture for community medicine. So what we did was in the rooftop of GMC, we all used to gather and just discuss everything before the lecture started because it was a lecture come tutorial at that point. While excelling in our studies, we also tried to enjoy our lives by hosting different types of functions at my place and also outside. Between I also went to Mumbai to visit my sister. I sadly did not put up a vlog for that. I really wanted to, but it was very much family time and I did not want to spoil that. Once I came back from Mumbai, I, it was time to go into the next posting, which was the third month of third year, that was ENT. In ENT, again, we were taught about the history and the clinical examination, but apart from that, we were also taught how to use different instruments in the ENT. There's something called as the JH probe, and it is used to take out foreign bodies or insects from the ear. There's something called as an otoscope, which will help you visualize what is present inside the ear canal and also how the tympanic membrane looks like. The thing that you're seeing over here, it's a, it's called as a bullseye mirror and the headlamp, which, which was used in the earlier times where otoscope was not available. I had a feeling you'd come. We were also taught how to do indirect laryngoscopy. And 
is made a base of A lot of different endoscopic procedures are also shown to us. Once the ND posting was done, we had our post and we did the post and nicely and ended the posting with a night out at my place uh, during the night of Khojagiri, which is where the moon is really really nice and you have to drink uh, milk which is uh, boiling. So it's something it's something we practice here. After that was done, we were finally posted into the community medicine section and here all we did was go to the hospital every single day, take up a case and present it to our teacher. And they actually taught us how to present the case very very nicely in a way that you would present a case of a community medicine. It's my class at 10 o'clock in the morning at the community medicine class. So in a way that would involve both the medicine part as well as the community part. Medicine part would include something like what is this pulse, BP, respiratory rate, etc. How many weeks of amenorrhea does the ANC patient have? And the community part would be does does do they have environmental sanitation in their place? What is the type of family they have? What is the socioeconomic status? And how all of these things actually affect the health in one particular way. I really enjoyed that because I got to know about so many different diseases through the people presenting the case each and every single day. My birthday came and we celebrated that. And guess what, just after all of that was done, I entered the 4th month and here we were presented with our exams. Yes, the prelims of 3rd MBBS were here in just 3 months and we had to give that. We had to study the whole syllabus thorough and thoroughly because they could ask anything of any difficulty. But guess what, we did that and we prevailed and we passed all of that. In fact, shall I say we nailed it. After coming from Mumbai, university exams came and the rest is history. We've already seen what happened to me in the university examinations in the past two weeks. I really hope that through this video, I was able to share some of what my life actually is. And that medicine is not always about just studies and studies. It is almost always about studies plus fun. You just have to balance it all out. Thank you all so much for always supporting me. Since third year started, this channel has gained almost 2 lakh subscribers. And I genuinely can't thank you guys enough. And it was my pleasure to share my journey with all of you guys who are genuinely interested in it. Before I say goodbye though, let's aim for 15,000 likes on this video because I spend a lot of time making it. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. If you are a long time subscriber to the channel, please let me know how do you feel about the new content which is coming up? How do you feel about the vlogs which are integrated with certain chat videos such as this one so that it all becomes connected and the way of storytelling becomes a bit smoother. Your feedback is very important and do let me know by commenting down below and be sure that I'll definitely read it. To learn more about LP, you can check the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Take care, bye-bye, see you.